Welcome back to Web API Tutorials. I'm Venkat. In this video, let's discuss the prerequisites for JWT token generation. So we need to discuss about these three prerequisites before starting implementing the JWT token based authentication. Okay. So the first one is uh, installing the Nugget packages. So Microsoft.asp.net core.authentication.jwt bearer is the Nugget package for JWT token based implementation or JWT token based authentication. This is our application. Go to manage nugget packages. Click on browse tab and search for microsoft.aspnet core dot authentication dot jwt bearer so this is the package we need to install click on that and install it's a version 8.0.1 okay installation is completed okay, these are all the packages installed okay next step next step is authorize attribute so when we implement the jwt token based authentication process so there should be some infrastructure in our web api application to configure which endpoint is secure endpoint which endpoint is anonymous endpoint like that okay so for that we need to know about authorize attribute let's go to our project we have installed the package close it and this is our program.cs so in our application we have three controllers out of from these three controllers we have many endpoints so out of all the endpoints we need to say what are all secure endpoints and what are all public endpoints okay for that so let's go to the student controller so there is a authorized attribute so this is given inbuilt in web api application so this authorized attribute comes with the asp.net web api framework okay we don't need to install anything extra for this so now now all the endpoints inside this controller is secure so we are saying so if i put authorized attribute on top of a controller so that means all the endpoints inside this student controller are secure endpoints if you want to access them you need to authenticate you must authenticate okay so that's the meaning so once we authenticated who can access this only admins can access or only super admins can access like that we can put authorization rules also to put the authorization rules we need to put roles here so we can say only super admins so if you put like this only super admins can access the endpoints inside this controller okay so if you want to allow multiple users multiple users with the different roles like super admins and admins both can access this endpoint you need to put like that okay you can hover on this roles you can see you can see it is saying it is saying gets or sets a comma delimited list of roles that are allowed to access the resources okay so this is for authentication and these roles are for authorization okay so if you don't want to put a restriction on any endpoint you can mark it as a allow anonymous suppose if you want to give all the students without any authentication you can mark that as a allow anonymous so if you mark this method as a allow anonymous so now anybody can access this without any authentication or authorization okay so allow anonymous is nothing but anybody can access 
any anonymous person can access that okay these are the inbuilt attributes we need to use when we are implementing the GWT token based authentication so this is the second point and third one is so when we are generating the secret key when we are generating the GWT token we need a secret key we have already discussed this in earlier videos when we are discussing about the algorithm so we are going to use algorithm which needs secret key okay so let's add secret key and let's try to read it from the config let me comment this hello anonymous and authorize i have commented this for now now let's go to the app settings.json so this logging we have discussed earlier connection strings also we have discussed earlier so let's add our secret key I'm adding new variable JWT secret that's the key and so this is secret key so I'm keeping the secret key as simple but in real time it should be complex like uh, like this it should be complex this is the secret key i have put in the app settings.json okay so i have added in the app settings.json now we need to read it from the configuration so in program.cs we are going to configure the jwt token authentication process so we need to make sure we can access that from here okay so we have added these endpoints for course testing in earlier videos we can use this endpoint to read that data okay if we want to read that builder dot configuration dot get value what is the value we are reading string type right get value of string and what is the key that's the key jwt secret is the key so now i am reading the jwt secret key and returning in this endpoint okay i have added the code to read that particular configuration secret key i'm running this application our application is running let me go to the angular application okay let's modify the endpoint you can see i am calling this test endpoint 2 so the change is saved and let me open the inspect now i am clicking on this one you can see the test endpoint got called and this is the key it has returned okay here we are simply reading the key secret key and returning in the response okay so now we are able to read the secret key from the configuration okay all the three things are ready now so we can start implementing the JWT token generation process so let's do that from next video for more videos like this please like share and subscribe thank you